Yo, it's your boy DJ912 from DJ912beats.com. Hey, and I'm going to do a, a quick tutorial on how to install Waves OVOX inside of FL Studio 20 for all those that, uh, you know, don't know. So first you want to go to, after you buy your plugin, it should take you to a, a quick link. And it should bring you here to this window so you can download Waves Central for your Windows or Mac version. Um... It's also good to note, if you're running Pro Tools 9, if you're running Pro Tools uh, 9, 10, I think, it might be 10, 9 and 10, something like that, but you have to download a legacy version of Wave Central to get these plugins inside of Pro Tools. Um, I don't know about the newer versions, I think. Only one I got is 10, so I, I don't know if you know the new ones have to do it, but you have to download what is called the uh, legacy version, and um, it is right. It tells you right here. Learn how to want learn how to run Waves plugins on. Oh, that's Logic. What a Pro Tools join it. Anyway, we're not here for Pro Tools, but you get the picture. Find the the legacy version, which is uh right there, if I'm not mistaken. So once you uh, download it Wave Central. You bring it here. Highlight the plugin that you want. You can do all. You can install all of them, or you can just install the one, which is Ovox. I won't install it because I already have it installed. Then you're gonna bring up FL. So when you inside of FL Studio 20, you're gonna. There's two ways you can do it. Go here. Go to Add. Hit more plugins, or you can press this button right here and do more plugins. Either or, it doesn't matter. When this window loads, scroll down. Sometimes they show up in here already, sometimes they don't, but if they don't, don't worry about it. Just hit manage plugins. And once you manage your plugins, this is important. So, once you Come here to manage your plugins. Your your VST should be installed in a couple different places. It's either in Wave, um, folder, or if you're in a um, or say if you downloaded something else like Heat Up Three or something like that, and you're trying to find where it's at, you should normally point it, point your VSTs to this folder here. Uh, you go to your local DC. Go to Programs Files 86, scroll down till you see a VST folder, VST plugins, and all your plugins should be in there. Um, so, let's go back to FL. I don't want to hit that window again. So, back in FL, while we're here, just hit Find Plugins. So why it's finding those plugins, it's gonna search, 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 search. It's gonna find your plugin. Once it finds your plugin, damn, I shouldn't hit that button. Once it finds your plugin, scroll down the menu until you see like these, like this is uh, highlighted yellow. And um, you see how it says synth and effect. One thing too that you can do, like if we go all the way up to the top, you see all these that say error. All we have to do is click on it, go to plug in. It says unknown. I don't know what type it is. OVO RB2 is a synth. You click synth, apply changes. Now nah, it's no more error. You can do it for all of them if you want to. This is an effect. Apply changes. And that's on that's on you if you want to do them for all of them. But once you do that. Um, if you click these star buttons on the side of it, it will put it in um, the synth menu at the top or the effects menu at the top. So it'll put it up here. Um, then you're going to uh, look at the wave shell. You see how when it, say, it says wave shell? Let me take this off. Give me just a second. Hit the down menu. 
these should start coming up when you um install waves ovox you should see one of these in that uh vst menu that i was just showing you in this menu right here scroll down to you see uh see how it says wave shell the 9.6 is um and the 11. the 11 is where you're gonna have your waves ovox plugin i did not know that and i don't understand why is that and i'm gonna show y'all something in just a second so make sure you install the waves of uh, vst3 11.0 come back over here once you highlighted it click it here now drop down menu and we have ovox and we have ovox installed now this is what i don't like about uh, what i don't like about the way to get installed is so after you install it my 9.6 is where all my other plugins are at. every plugin that i have bought within waves is all my plugins but ovox is not in there ovox is in the 11.0 not the 9.6 I think the 9.6 is basically a legacy version so the plugins look a little older and some of them um and some of them they look a little newer but as you can see the difference this is the ovox with the 11.0 and um everything else i have why does it keep doing that everything else i have is right here in the 9.6 version so and see that's what I mean by I think they're a legacy version. There we go. So that's the 9.6. Waze Ovox would be an 11.0. And that's how you install any VST um, in FL Studio. And that's also how you install Waze Ovox in FL Studio. I wish ways to tighten up and switch that, but you know, it is what it is. So until next time, uh, shouts out to everybody that subscribed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the share button, hit that notification bell so you notify every time I drop a video. And we out. Peace. DJ912beats.com. Be great.